Am I being punked? I thought they canceled the show. Ashton! Hello, and welcome to Let's Talk Spoop. I'm your host, Don, and uh, today we're going to talk about the movie entitled Killer Movie Director's Cut, which is free on Amazon Prime. Um... I don't know if this is different than the original, because I've never seen the original, but uh, it's free on Amazon Prime, so I figured uh, we would talk about it. Um, so as per usual, on Let's Talk Spoop, we break things down into six, six separate categories. Those six separate categories are story, acting, music, atmosphere, look, and finally, creep. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into Killer Movie, Director's Cut. So, uh, the story, uh, talk, starts with a guy talking about reality TV, how it's the best thing ever, uh, and then we get a text across the screen that says, in 2008, a reality TV crew was dispatched to a small town in North Dakota to cover the story of an underdog high school hockey team on their way to state finals. Uh, one by one, the crew members start, went missing, uh, and this is their story. Um, so, we get a little boy helping, uh, this girl, I think he's bringing up firewood from what it looked like, uh, who works in a, uh, ski rental place, and her boyfriend's there, uh, and we get like, oh, hey, your dad's on parole, uh, how do you feel about that, which is cool, I guess, um, and then we have, like, a stalker who's outside, uh, filming stuff from outside, um, and then the girl dies horribly. Uh, she gets her head chopped off via, um, barbed wire while driving the four-wheeler. So kind of a, kind of a cool death sequence. Um, so it's a pretty good opening. Uh, and then we get introduced to the character Blanca Champion, who's played by, I don't know how to pronounce this girl's name, uh, Kuko? Uh, Kuko? Um, anyway... Uh, she gets introduced to us, there she is, via a, like a news, uh, thing talking about her being a terrible person, essentially. Uh, then we get some slow cast introduction, um, we get introduced to a lady named Lee, who is the producer and is rude. Um, our main character, I actually didn't catch his name this entire movie, I think it was Luke, um, uh, is met meets her she's rude and lesbian um then it turns out that lee wants them to try to figure out about this murder that happened rather than um film the hockey team that he's been hired to film uh and then we find out the girl from the openings, dad killed her mom and used to coach, and then apparently the current coach's wife died in a car accident, uh, and he's also the dad of the boyfriend of the girl who opened in the beginning. It's kind of weirdly connected. Uh, then we actually meet Blanca. Uh, she is rude, AF, and very abusive to her assistant. Um, and then we find out or the killer about 22 minutes into this movie. It's only an hour and 16 minutes long. Uh, the killer kills the next person, and that's kind of, they slowly die one by one after that. Um, there's a lot of, uh, red herrings that they lay, uh, throughout the movie, um, to try to keep you from figuring out who the killer is, essentially. Um, one of the things I enjoy that they did is because it's, like, not a found footage film, uh, but it's a film about a documentary, about a found footage film, kind of like Tropic Thunder, I guess, um, so, like, they have, like, picture-in-picture -picture interviews with characters where they, like, talk about what's going on. And it's kind of just kind of a funny um, thing that they add in there. Uh, f other funny things is that the team, hockey team name, is the Gold Diggers. Um, they just lay a lot of red herrings with just to, because it's funny. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Um, I... I enjoyed the movie. I enjoyed the presentation. I thought it was funny and enjoyable. Like, not ha-ha, laugh-out-loud funny, but, like, chuckle quietly to myself funny. Um, so, aside from the fact that I didn't feel like the villain reveal uh, was earned throughout the movie, um, it was pretty good. So, a 3 out of 5 
for a story. Acting, a good mixer, mix of slasher and comedy. Um, although, again, act, the ending was not great. Or, sorry, uh, in this one, I don't feel like the actors were on the top of their game. So, three out of five for acting. Music is not special, but I do enjoy uh, the theme song. So, 2.5 out of five for music. Uh, the atmosphere is a good combination, like I said earlier, of humor and horror. Um, it kept me engaged uh, until, again, the unfulfilling villain reveal. Um, so, three out of five for atmosphere. Look, nothing really special. There's some blood effects, and that's really about it. Um, not too much to give you the spoops. So, 2.5 out of five for look. Uh, this movie is not creepy, so creep. Um, but it is very engaging, surprisingly engaging. I was very, um, very much enjoyed this film, and I didn't actually expect to. So, two out of five for creep. Uh, tally up those scores, and we get a 2.6 out of 5 skulls for Killer Movie Director's Cut on Amazon Prime. <laughs> <laughs>